Let me finish tonight with a call to arms. I want everyone watching to call your United States Senator and ask him or her to support hearings into the corrupt, bogus, downright unpatriotic way this country was marched to war eight years ago. Here's the number for the Capitol switchboard, 202-224-3121. We now know from the Secretary of Defense's own hand that there were no nuclear weapons in Iraq, no production facility to make them, no evidence of any purchases of such weapons, no attempt to buy such weapons. Nada. This being the case, why are 4,400 Americans dead? Why are 100,000 Iraqis killed? Why did we violate our own opposition to aggression by being the aggressor ourselves? I ask you to call your senator and cite the Rumsfeld book, cite the National Intelligence Estimates of late 2002, which he cites, and the report of the Intelligence Director for the Joint Chiefs and the Secretary of Defense. All this in the book, all this evidence that there were no nuclear weapons in Iraq despite all the talk by President Bush and his people about mushroom clouds. The Chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee is John Kerry. You can call him, but the best people to call are your own senators, Democratic or Republican. Don't they want an explanation of this historic fraud against the American people? A fraud that cost thousands of our lives, their spouses, their hot fathers, their brothers? Senator, you could say, or write. Secretary Rumsfeld admits in his new book that Iraq did not have nuclear weapons. Had he admitted this during the war, or before the war rather, the American people would not have backed the war. Why aren't you and the rest of the Senate raising hell about this? If we'd gotten this confession from Rumsfeld before shots were fired, we could have stopped the U.S. attack on Iraq. Those lost people would be with us today, and that'll do it. The time has come for full-fledged national hearings on the methods used to take America into a war that it should never, been, should never have been fought. It should never have been because it was based on something that was never true. President George W. Bush and his people told the American people and the world again and again that Saddam Hussein posed a nuclear threat to our country, that he would hit us with a nuclear bomb. That threat was a deal maker that got America to go on the attack. Will just one U.S. Senator stand up and demand that this be investigated? It's time that we see nationally televised hearings like the Fulbright hearings, those great hearings on Vietnam. This time we need to find out who got us into this war and for God's sake, why? Why did they start a war for a reason they knew wasn't true? I'm not going to stop asking this question. As the great Adlai Stevenson once said, till hell freezes over.